welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also make sure to hit that bell so you are notified every single time I upload a video. So for today, for this vlogoween video, I thought I would do something really fun. I've kind of talked about it a little bit in previous videos that I had an idea. And so we're gonna try out that idea today. I am gonna be working with a couple different pans that I found at, I think it was Joanne for both of them. First one is this like silicone, actually this is Target. It's a silicone pan with little jack-o'-lanterns on it. You can kind of see those. And then this pan I actually got at Joanne. It's another little silicone pan that's got some different tombstone designs on it. What I want to do is try to make some chocolates today. And I'm really excited. I love I love eating chocolate, but I've always like loved the idea of doing chocolates. Um, and there's some things I know how to do pretty well, but stuff like this kind of makes me nervous because I've never done it because it's like true chocolateer stuff. And I remember even as a kid, like that was one of my dreams was to be a chocolatier. And I know there's, it's either in Boston or Chicago, there's a place that does like a full chocolate buffet. And that's like been a bucket list item for me. Granted now I'm vegan and probably most of their chocolate contains dairy. Anyway. To say the least, I love chocolate and I love different chocolate treats and learning how to do them. So I thought I would try something with you all today. I've never done these, so I don't know how well they're gonna turn out, but I'm really excited to give it a go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm doing two different ones. So for the jack-o'-lantern ones, I am gonna do just some, I have some chocolates in here. I have a mix of these chocolate discs and some like allergen-friendly chocolate chips. This is not candy chocolate, it's not melting chocolate, so I don't know how well these are gonna turn out. But this is what I had, and I kind of figure I wanted to make this accessible to you all and kind of see, like, use what you have in your cabinet or what you can easily find at the store instead of having to go out and buy a bunch of, like, fancy ingredients. So I'm trying to kind of make that work for you all as well. With that one, I'm gonna melt that chocolate. I'm also, once it's melted and we have it in the molds, I'm gonna put some little date bits. I took some dates, and I just kind of chop them up into tiny little cubes in here. And then I also have some like vegan Nutella, like hazelnut spread essentially. So you could use actual Nutella if you wanted, but this is just Nutiva organic hazelnut spread with cocoa. But this one happens to be um, dairy free. It does have nuts, obviously. Super excited because it's kind of hard to find like vegan Nutella. I love Nutella. I'm gonna put those two things in the big ones and then in the small ones i'm thinking i have just the chips i'm gonna melt that up and then i'm gonna put a little bit of this orange extract in it so it's like a chocolate orange gravestone bite so i think those will be really tasty i'm just hoping i melt it all properly tempering chocolate is very much a science and you have to do it properly and to temp. I do have a candy thermometer, so I might try using that, but I also might just kind of go based on how it looks. So that way I can show you all in case you don't have a th candy thermometer. I feel like most people probably don't have one laying around, but if you do, this is a great time to use it. So I'm gonna melt the first chocolate, the big ones that has the mix. I'm gonna pull a little bit out of this. So maybe do two thirds of your chocolate, however much you're doing. Do two thirds of it in the microwave, 50% power, a minute at a time, stir it, stir it. And then once it's all completely melted, and honestly, you really do kind of want to temp it, you want it to be between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's done, put your other third remaining chocolate in it, stir it in, and then it should come down to about like 85 to 90 degrees. Then you know it's tempered properly and it's ready to go in your molds. But I'm also gonna try and do it by eye and maybe give you guys some tips so hopefully you can do this as well. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Again, do two thirds of it, the same kind of every minute. Stir it, once it's to temp and it's all melted, add the other third, and then we'll add in the chocolate. So I'm not gonna show you the actual melting process because I'm using the microwave that's behind you and it's also quite loud. I will show you what it looks like once it's melted and what you should be looking for when you do this. So I'm gonna get to melting everything and then uh, I'll meet you back once it's all done. Okay, so I melted the first bigger thing of chocolate. It took me like, 
have a total of like two and a half, three minutes and it's completely melted. And what I use, if you don't have a candy thermometer, we actually got one of these digital thermometers last year because you know, everybody's checking their temps about stuff and you can use it. And for mine, I don't know if you see, but it shows it's like 105 degrees. So we want it between 100 and 110. So now it's perfect to have everything is melted. It's super smooth. So you're gonna add your last third of chocolate that you left out, put it in there, mix that all together. It should cool it down to about 85 to 90, 95 degrees. And then it will be perfect. Stir this in. But I was gonna say, um, even, you know, one thing is really good, I do it a lot around the holidays, is um, you can take dates, you stuff them with a little bit of Nutella or hazelnut spread or whatever, and then you dip those in chocolate. So it's like chocolate covered dates that are stuffed with this beautiful hazelnut cream. That is so good. It's such a little nice gift. I've done those, like I've made like little gift bags of like five or six little um, chocolate covered dates and given those to friends. They're great little gifts. They're pretty easy to do and they're so, so tasty. They feel like super fancy. So definitely recommend those. I'm just gonna keep mixing this chocolate until everything in it, you can kind of see, I added the other stuff. It's starting to melt from the heat of the stuff that's in the microwave. I'm just gonna keep mixing this together until it is all melted. So I'll meet you back for that. And then I, um, I'll also do the other bowl of the smaller amount for the chocolate orange the exact same way. So I'll meet you back when those two are done. Okay, so I'm done melting everything. I put an apron on because things started to get a little dirty with chocolate. Like chocolate work can be messy, but I'm gonna bring you down, I'm gonna show you. I do think the chocolate mix with the discs turned out a little bit better. It's a little bit shinier. It looks like it actually tempered properly. The one with just the chips looks a little dull. I mean, they're still gonna taste amazing, but as far as like it actually being tempered properly, I don't know for sure. So I'm gonna show you down. We'll do the jack-o'-lanterns first with the dates and the Nutella, and then we'll do the little tombstones with the chocolate orange syrup. Okay, so you can kind of see this chocolate looks so, so nice and shiny, right? Um, this is the one with just the chocolate chips. So you can see like it's still nice, but it looks a little bit more dull. This definitely looks a little bit shinier. So I think this is gonna work out really well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take maybe a small little scoop. And you don't need to uh, spray these, um, the silicone or anything, cause there's enough fat and everything in the chocolate. It should come out fairly well. I'm trying to coat just all around the actual jack-o'-lantern. So that way I make sure and get in those crevices really well and hopefully the design will show up properly. So we'll do three just to start so you guys can kind of see. I'll go back and finish the rest. Now I'm gonna add maybe another scoop or so of chocolate to this. So there's a decent like little base to work with. Maybe another little half a scoop. There we go. And then I'm gonna take some of the dates, and again, I just kind of dice them up, but however much you'd like. I mean, I really like dates, <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of put a good amount. Maybe like, I don't know, a quarter of a date worth right there. And then we'll take some of this, I'm gonna put it on top and kind of swirl it in and then we'll do chocolate on top of it to encase it. Put just a dollop of it right on top. This stuff tastes a little bit different than what I remember Nutella tasting like. So I don't know how much I like it. I'm not gonna put a ton of it then, but it's still nice and rich. I think it'll be good inside the chocolate to offer some like variety or whatever. You could go and just honestly use like a chopstick to swirl it, but I think it's covering it enough. That we don't need to. If your um, Nutella or whatever spread you're using is a little bit thicker, then you can use like a chopstick to kind of like swirl it into the chocolate. I think that's good. So then I'm just gonna do a little scoop of chocolate right on top to encase it and cover everything up. And then it's good and ready to set. So we'll do, I'll see how many of this makes and you guys can just kind of watch me do this and then we'll do the uh, gravestones.
Okay, and just because the Nutella stuff isn't like, I don't know, I'm not loving the flavor on it. I think I'm gonna add some slivered almonds in a big old jar. So these are just blanched slivered almonds. You could do almond slices, you could do walnuts, you could do whatever you know. So like, honestly, pistachios might be good in this. But I just feel like adding some nuts into this. So that's really what I'm kind of wanting is that like chocolate nutty flavor. And then I'm just gonna use this to kind of squish them into there. Kind of mix it up a little. Then we'll top it. and have some of this like fancy Mediterranean sea salt. It's like finishing salt if you've ever heard of that. I think I'm actually, it's really nice like big flakes of salt. I think I'm gonna add some of that into this one almond one. So it's just almonds and these like sea salt. So it's like salted almond chocolate. So that's usually my favorite is salted almond. We'll try doing that for a couple too. I don't know, just play around. You can always make these completely customizable to whatever flavors you like. You could always do like some dried cranberries or dried cherries or, I don't know, whatever flavors you enjoy. tapping this down so it'll help flatten all those really really well I actually think I'm gonna kind of like add some little finishing salt to um, all of them just at the very very top so like once you get a little bite I think that's gonna be really really nice and you just set them aside in a cool place you can set them inside the fridge or freezer just don't do it for too super long and when you bring it out maybe cover it with some wax paper so that the condensation doesn't form on them um, especially if you're adding any sort of dried fruit, I would definitely try to um, cool them or have them set at room temp if all possible. But again, it depends on your environment and where you live. So I think I'm just gonna try and set them aside in a nice cool spot. Honestly, no, I'm gonna try setting them in the fridge because I, I wanna set these quick and see how they taste. So I'm gonna set these inside the fridge and then we'll work on the gravestones. All right, so for this one, I, again, I have this orange extract, I'm just gonna add like a really, really small amount, maybe half a cap full. We'll mix that in and then taste it because I don't want it to be too strong. It would be honestly, if you had oranges, it'd be great to put some orange zest into this. That would be really, really tasty. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Honestly, I think I'm gonna do a tiny bit more. I feel like I have chocolate on my face, so it's a good thing you can't see me. <laughs> you have to be really careful when adding li liquids to chocolate because it can kind of try to seize up on you. So that's why you really want to make sure it's tempered well so that it doesn't do that. I think that is good. Tapping is really gonna help you get a nice solid service, so keep doing that. Especially if it feels like, oh, it's all lumpy, I don't know how it's fitting in there. Just kind of fill it and then tap it and it will help it get into those like weird small little edges too. These are good to go. I'm gonna set these in the fridge to set as well and I'll meet you back when everything is set and we can unmold. 
Fingers crossed it turns out well. <laughs> okay, so change of scenery. Um, Craig and I are actually in the process I'm filming another video you guys will see later, but I thought I would have him be here with me for the unmolding of the chocolates. That actually only took maybe like 30 minutes in the fridge, so it's not bad, especially, I mean, especially for the big ones. I knew the small ones would go quickly, but I'm really excited to see how they look. I think they're gonna pop out pretty easily because silicone stuff's usually <laughs> pops out pretty well. Oh That's my a goodness. good like, detail on it. Yeah. Oh, it's not all the same, too. Nice. Yeah, they're all different ones. Oh, I will say the ones that were, the ones I was concerned about them not being super tempered are already kind of melting in my hand. Let me get up close. I want to show you the detail on these. There you go. So you see that one? That's so cool. There's another one that's got a little spider on it. These are the chocolate orange ones. <laughs> Okay, you want to let's try these. Let's cheers it because while they're melting. Yeah, while it's melting cheers. in my hand. Mmm, salty chocolate. The salt on it's really good with the orange too. Oh my god. I'm well, gonna I'm, be like a three-year-old with like ooh, chocolate over all over my face. No, I just got like a bit of the salt. Like it pops in your mouth. Mm -hmm. well, orange is really good with it too. If you can find that salt, highly recommend. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. Ooh, that makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally chocolate all over my hands. Okay, I was trying to put this on a nice platter, but I think we have to put these back into the fridge because I'm afraid those are going to melt. Yeah. Let's try these. This, These are the ones I really want to try. What are the flavors <gasps> of these? Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let me show you the face on this one. This looks amazing. This is what I feel like it should look like. See how shiny it kind of looks? Was my oh. face in it? I don't know. In case it didn't work. <laughs> okay. Curious to see what how was this the tastes. flavor of this? You'll see. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That was really thick. What like, flavor? Was it like almonds? And the salt. And so it's salted well, yeah, almonds. Yeah, it's still salt. The salted almonds are really good. I've not tried the, uh, what was it? We have dates in the other two. Mm -hmm. And there's one that's hazelnut and dates. These this are is, really thick. This is so rich. Like, honestly, you could probably cut these up or whatever. If you, <laughs> Daddy's right behind us, you see? <laughs> but these are super awesome. This is a lot of fun, especially if you have, like, kids or something, or you're going to do, like, Halloween party or birthday parties. I think it's be fun. I mean, they're gonna be a mess because it's chocolate. I highly recommend them. Again, it's pretty easy. If I would definitely say try and find the disc for the chocolate. I think that works better than the chips. But the chips is still it's super tasty. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, definitely comment below any of your thoughts about this. Are you gonna try this? Are there any fun treats that you like to make? Let me know because I'm always down to try some new treats. But yeah. Thoughts on it? You like them? Hum hum. <laughs> I think that says it all. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate all your love and support. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, I hope you're doing wonderful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.